I woke up today <clears throat> thinking, how am I going to celebrate monkey today? That was the only thing I wanted to do. And then news broke on Gabby's case and my heart sunk. I said, let's listen to the bullshit. The only thing I can say, guys, is go back and watch my my videos on what I said about what happened with Gabby. I may have to go check and make sure that nothing's on private. But I did. I did rod session after rod session after rod session. I even communicated with the notebook a couple times. This case... It's really, really dear. It's dear to me for some reason. It's like Casey Anthony again. And for my subs who know about my Casey Anthony story, she showed me before she was even reported, before she was even reported what happened to her. She showed me running. She showed me the creek. She showed me water. She showed me fish. She showed me something hitting her in the head she showed me so many details and to listen to that to that notebook well not just like listen to it look at it you clearly can tell the very first page is probably brian it's more than likely brian writing that page the second third and fourth and fifth page no. No way. She's lying. I keep hearing she's lying. Liar. Liar. Over and over and over again. Fucking Jesus. Sorry. No. This is, this is not good. This is not good at all. I mean, it, it's good for the case. It's good for the case. This is all going to come out. Um, the judge was going to have to let this case go to a jury after this because there's just too much. There's too much. And then there's pieces of the notebook missing. Eight, pa eight, page, eight pages. We only saw five. Okay. And then you got another letter out there that went somewhere. But yet it was in the van and ended up in the house at the laundry's house and it was addressed to brian from his mother saying hey i can help you with something right well yeah exactly exactly what i said exactly what i said i said that i said she's going to try to cover this up She's going to try to get him out of the situation. I honestly believe in my heart of hearts and from what I'm feeling today. <clears throat> the way it played out was Brian did what he did. Called mom. How did he get the letter in the van? I think he had the letter in his personal. Like, in his personal, like stuff after he took it inside does that make sense how do they know it was in the van maybe it's a date like a date on it okay let's just say let's just say he got it while he was in the van let's say that he got it while he was on that trip with them okay she passes away on the 27th 26th 27th still up in the air I see it taking a while through the night so I think it started on the 26th and ended on the 27th like after midnight but I don't know maybe there's some scenery out there that says no she was still alive on the 27th I don't know I've seen the number 27 before so maybe it was the 27th into the 28th 
I don't know. Who cares? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. What matters is... Hmm. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. What matters is... He did what he did. Contacted his mom. Ran home. Mom knew. Mom knew so that the letter could have been a simply, hey, if you want to break up with her, he could have picked that letter up when he flew back to do the storage shed. Left it in the van. It could have been like some other BS, whatever the hell she wrote on it. I don't know. Something about fear. Tell him not to be afraid of making a decision that can impact the rest of his life. I don't know. I can't wait to see that letter. Point being, he goes home. Mom knows. She's called the attorney. <sighs> he has... A whole place where he can hide because mom knows people she's got this history she's dirty 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 the letter was truthful in the matter that it talks about her running it talks about her running and tripping in the water which people have went through map after map of map of that area that creek was shallow if she tripped it's because she was running for her life because maybe she tripped when he threw a huge stone but he was on her he was on her shortly after she went down and that's all and then he had guilt he had guilt he took her back to the camp site and tried to whatever with the fire some of these words in the fire you know this is probably the story that he told mom and mom went off and said mm, let's change it a little bit let's say that she was running because they were trying to get back to camp and she slipped and fell and hit her head in the river and screamed out his name and or screamed or whatever and then he couldn't find her and the story that she told whatever some of it's true in a weird way some of it's the truth I saw that <clears throat> it's not written in his words it's written in hers it's written in the mom's words. The mom told this stupid ass story to make her son look innocent because she's a narcissistic bitch too. I'm so, so shaken up about this right now, guys. Hang on. Can I show me? Yeah, see, he, she, she's showing me him holding the notebook on his leg, writing that letter out in the van. She, he's in the van writing that first page, feeling guilty. Then he decides that it's time to go, and that's when he takes his travel. i like to know if he showed up the same day. I think so. Yeah, he showed up in the van. I'm just so... I'm so done. Not even done. I'm just so... Like, okay, everything I said. Okay, that she was lying. I said that she was going to try to manipulate the situation. She's done that. I said that she was going to fake his death. I still believe he's alive. I have not been able to reach him. 
so even if he was in you know hell I should be able to sense his energy like that or sense the darkness which I definitely always sense darkness but when I sense with him is he is freaking out right now okay I feel oh fuck I feel an oh fuck moment Sorry, y'all might argue with me and say he's dead. I don't think so. She literally wrote in that note. I am going to sit here under this tree and write this note or by this creek or whatever it is. And write this note to you so that animals can ravage my body and y'all won't find me. And when you do find my stuff, pick it up. Oh my gosh. It's intense. It's bullshit. The fact that she is so narcissistic to think that people would actually participate into believing this whole thing that she has called, like put together. Yeah, over here I hear it's still alive. Still alive. Alyssa. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's talk about the letter. Let's talk about the letter that she said or sent to him. Let's say that he called her and said mom I'm freaking out I think I might end up hurting Gabby you know we're fighting a lot we just had a fight and we got pulled over by the cops what was that around the 12th right of August you know and then she said where are you at right now you know let me let me see if I can help you out and she sent a letter but he went and picked up the mail pops or something you know I don't know I mean, how else did the letter get to him if it was in the van and then in the house where the FBI found it? I'd like to know that. I guess we won't know until the court's here. I'm just... But what What if? What if she said, hey, whatever you choose to do, boy, whatever you choose to do, I will take care of you. You know? So then he had that, that cushion of support that said, oh... I can even go kill my girlfriend and my mommy will take care of me. It is not allegedly anymore. He confessed to it, right? In the letter, he confessed at the end. said, I took her life because she was panting out in pain and asking me to end it for her. What? I'm sorry. Back in the day, when I got with my husband, whenever he was in the, you know, younger years and we were in our 20s, we were so in love, so in love, and this isn't for everybody, but he's saying how in love, Brian Laundry said, I was in so in love with her that I can't live without her, okay? Okay, cool. You know what? You pick your girlfriend up off the goddamn ground. You don't leave her in the creek bed. And choke her out and do whatever else you did to her. You pick her up. You throw her over your shoulder. You go to the van and you haul ass to a hospital. While trying to call 911. Sorry. Had to get that out. He had choices. He chose the wrong choice. And then he ran to mommy, and mommy helped him. She needs to go to fucking jail. She helped this man. This man run from the police when she clearly knew that he had killed someone. I know, people say, well, you know, you have a son. What would you have done? I would have had my son turn himself in. I would have. And whatever came, came. I would have got the best attorney I could afford. 
and I would have fought it. But when you do a crime, even if it's a crime of passion, even if it's an accident, you have to face, you have to face what you've done. It's like, we will all go to God someday and have judgment on us or, you know, look at our life or, you know, however you want to say it. He will show us our mistakes again, okay? And we will face them. But here on earth, you have to face the crimes you commit. It's just the law. It's the law of man. It's I get it. It doesn't make sense. But we can't go around doing everything we freaking want to do. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, today I could have got out at the drive-in and beat the crap out of the man behind me because he honked his horn after he got up behind me. After I had been there already ordering. He came and honked his horn three times and then I like looked in my mirror at him and he haunted two more times and kind of looked at me. Man, because he did that, I guess it's okay to go kill him. Allegedly, of course, you know, whatever. It's bullshit. It's a cop out. Even in the fucking letter. Sorry. Not sorry. Even in that notebook, he is still mocking her. He's still mocking her that first page. He says, I close my eyes and remember the time we slept upon the van at a meteor shower. Okay. If you remember that and you felt so much love at her with her at that moment, why? Why? Why not turn yourself in? Why did you have to do what you did? I just... I know. I'm going to do rods. I'm going to do another rod session for this one because this one's killing me. I probably will do a celebration later for Michael after I calm down a little bit. I had to get some stuff off my chest. I'm really, really disgusted with this case right now. Um, I Justice for Gabby, guys. Like, seriously. Like, pray and hope. I know there will be, but I just... What's going to happen, and what I'm seeing right now, and this is just what I'm seeing. It does not mean, allegedly, of course. I feel like this will break something. Okay? They will have to confront uh, Berta about this handwriting I don't know if they've already done the handwriting analysis but you can clearly tell that's not the same handwriting it's neater and neater and neater as it goes along I'm sure that they could even compare it to the letter she says she wrote Brian which makes no sense it's almost like she planned to write Brian a letter saying hey babe I will get you out of whatever you need me to get you out of here's my handwriting so whenever you write whatever note later you'll write you will write you can compare it so maybe the handwriting was written by the lawyer is he left handed because that's a left handed slant my brother's left handed oh yeah and don't forget Brian's left handed but yet he wrote with his right hand ate with his right hand and did all this stuff with his right hand but he's left handed and shot himself with the left hand Right? Gotta prove it. Right? You write in your left hand to prove that someone shot themselves with the left hand. I'm not buying the shit. I haven't asked the pendulum or anything today. I've been going off of what Spirit's been telling me. And i took going off of what Gabby told me in the beginning. She's going to lie about it all. Everything she says is a lie. Listen closely. Watch. And as soon as she said that, his body was found like the next day. And then all this stuff was found around his body the next day. Okay, so it was underwater. I couldn't find his body. Let's say he went out there. He did what he did. Okay. But yet, you go out there a couple nights before when no one's watching. 
They didn't have it closed off all night. You think they had that place closed off all night? No. They lived from there. They hiked there. They know that area. They could have simply went out there, lawyer, dad, mom, whatever, maybe just mom, who knows, allegedly, of course, dropped all this shit all over the place and left a skeleton because they know, I don't know, the best coordinator in town or the area. There's a way to fake shit, dude. That's what I'm trying to say. There's a way to fake stuff. People do it all the time to get rid of. Think about it. He was identified through his dental records. That's it. Okay? I'm sorry. Have we even seen the photo of the skeleton? Okay. Let's say he didn't even kill himself. Let's say he went out there, sat under the tree, started writing out his notebook, his little, you know, loving confession, and got to the second page, and someone came up. He's dead. Can't finish. Okay, there's no blood on the notebook. That's lucky. I don't know. I'm just throwing shit out there now because I'm just I'm throwing shit out there because I'm trying to make sense of it. I can't make any sense of it except for what I've been shown by spirit. And I'm trying to also save both sides of the fence. So like what spirit has told me is he didn't kill himself. He's still alive. She did this. She planned this and it's all on her. He is in hiding still. Seriously feel like the baby's on the way like real soon. August is August. August. Yeah. Yeah. September, August. Something like that. Okay. Um. I just, I don't know. I don't know, ma'am. I don't know. I'm just so annoyed with this all. I'm like, oh. End of July, August. Okay. So. What do y'all think? Tell me. Tell me in the script. Tell me in the comments. Put a thumb up. Share this fucking video. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you guys. Thank you guys for being here with me and going through this with me. It does mean a lot. Um, I was watching my Blue Bay. My Blue Bay. My Blue Jay flyover. Um, I haven't forgot about Michael. I'll definitely do something with him. He didn't come today. I think that's why. Had a weird dream last night. I was in this trailer with some family I didn't recognize. I think I was younger because I was on the ground. I was on the floor, like, playing. And I looked up, and it wasn't Michael, but it was another kid. And I was like, who am I and where am I? And there was a snake slithering between the two of us. And I jumped up, and somebody came over and reached down and grabbed it. I never saw the guy's face. And he said, oh, you don't want to get bit by one of these. This will kill you. And he does whatever with it. And he throws it. And I was like, okay. And I remember turning. And you know like camper trailers? Like how the table turns into a bed? Someone is putting up this bed. Okay? They're putting the bed back into a table. And I looked down. And I have a snake, the same type of snake as I saw before, attached to my pants leg, where it, like, went to bite me, but sunk its thing, or his uh, teeth into my, my pants and got caught. And I reached down and I grabbed it like the man had done before, and I said, ah, there's snakes in the grass. And I woke up. And then... All day that the image has been playing in my head. There's snakes in the grass. And then this broke. And I'm just thinking. I'm pretty sure I said this. I'm going to go now. I love you guys. I'm going to go check my channel. And see if I have all of my Gabby Petito content in the right folder for you guys. To go back through my playlist. I'm also going to go see if everything's turned on to public because this shit has broke.
It's only going to get better for us and worse for them. And I'm really excited about watching it because, yeah. Um, Gabby came today for just a moment. She, I was watching um, Grizzly when it broke. And she came for just a moment when they talked about the second page and how she was getting a mercy um she leaned on me and i felt this real bad cold sensation right here and then i heard in my ear it's all lies it was like she laid her head on my shoulder and was like it's all lies so justice for gabby we got to get to the bottom of this stuff i know it's all in the court documents hopefully i'm only praying that this pushes it faster to go to court and we don't have to wait another year to get a verdict this family has been through hell but mr and mrs petito my heart pours for you i mean it literally breaks for you guys brian laundry's family y'all are y'all are the snakes in the grass all right guys i love y'all have a good night